stowage cleats and placed around the tractor sheave blocks as required. Light bindings or tie wraps may be used to avoid slackness in the falls and can prevent them being washed up into the propellers during the launching process. At the same time, the bow and stern preventer chains are disconnected and hung clear of the keelway. It's essential to check that the bilgeway extensions are stowed in the inboard position on both sides. Once the coxswain has checked that all personnel are clear of the stern and propellers, he'll authorise the start of the engines. The four stopper chain release hooks are manned by crew members and the signal to commence the launch is given by the coxswain. As the lifeboat is being prepared for launching, the tractor driver will have secured his cab door and closed the engine ventilation hatches on either side of the tractor casing. The lifeboat is pushed into the sea and the coxswain indicates any changes of direction required to the tractor driver. On a gradually shelving beach, the optimum launch depth is when the water is touching the outer point of the tunnel cans. On a signal from the coxswain, the tractor driver releases the carriage and drives the tractor shorewards to take up any slack in the launching falls. Once the tractor driver has indicated he's ready to launch, the coxswain signals for the stopper chains to be released and the tractor pulls away from the carriage as fast as possible. The lifeboat is then hauled along the top of the carriage by the launching falls, which automatically release as the lifeboat clears the carriage. Once clear of the carriage, the coxswain drives the lifeboat ahead to clear the beach. The tractor, meanwhile, will have towed the carriage back out of the water onto the beach. The tracks are chocked for safety reasons before the launching falls are released from the tractor. Now we'll have a look at the procedure for recovering the lifeboat onto the carriage. As the lifeboat approaches the beach, the bow strop is released from its stowage on the foredeck and made ready for connection to the tractor winch wire. The shore crew will have prepared the skids and the equipment for recovering the lifeboat whilst it was at sea. Once the lifeboat is grounded, the tractor will approach from up weather to prevent the lifeboat being washed down onto it in rough conditions. A heaving line is passed from the tractor to the lifeboat and the winch wire hauled across. Connection to the bow strop is made using a special swing link shackle and the wires are lowered over the bow clear of the foredeck. The tractor should slack out the winch wire and drive well clear of the water before starting to winch the boat up the beach. As the lifeboat clears the water, it's essential to insert Schlegel skids under the forefoot as this helps the bow to lift and reduces hull friction as it's pulled across the beach. If beach conditions are soft, as here, the skids will stop the bilge keels digging deep into the beach. Once the lifeboat is far enough up the beach to allow the carriage to be manoeuvred behind it, a pair of modified skids are placed in front of the lifeboat.
As the lifeboat is pulled over these, the raised parts provide support for the bilge keels and level the boat. The lifeboat's bow will tip down once the longitudinal centre of gravity has passed the raised skids. This lifts the stern clear of the beach, ready to take the carriage. The tractor and carriage are then positioned dead in line astern of the lifeboat and the carriage steering locked. The tractor winch wire should be laid along the tipping element of the carriage and the keelway before offering up to the lifeboat's skeg. The bilge rail extensions are swung out and locked in position. The tipping element of the carriage is then released and the tractor gently manoeuvres the carriage up to the lifeboat ensuring the keel is entered into the keelway. The hauling chain should be rigged before the carriage comes into contact with the skeg and may be kept clear of the carriage by supporting the hook with a rope from the after deck. can then be lowered onto the keelway and connected to the tractor winch wire. <coughs> 